Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing today? This is Alex. I hope you guys are having a great time. You guys had a great Valentine's Day. Sorry I didn't say anything about Valentine's Day. It's just don't I just don't celebrate Valentine's Day due to the fact that a lot of people, you know, know it's mainly more about it's more about what uh, about what we consider uh, uh, rituals more than anything of us celebrating all this stuff. So what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna play you guys a video. Actually, no videos. We're gonna play you guys some. Uh, show you guys some photographs. But before we go off on this photograph, I'm gonna say a prayer. And then from there, we're gonna talk about something real quick, and we're gonna move on. And I'm gonna drop the subject on that after I talk about it because I'm already getting tired of a lot of people coming at me with all kinds of different. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Different stuff. Different things about uh, about a subject. Here's today's prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this day and for life and for my many blessings. I believe in your goodness with all my heart. So I am asking you to go before me today. Bring my, being my guide. Should situations make me wonder which way to turn as each hour passes. On this day, Lord, bless me with your strength, your joy, and please keep me under your watchful eye the entire day, ever ready to help me and to offer me comfort in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you guys. I love you guys. First of all, we're going to go on right here because I had a subscriber send me this photograph right here and uh, asking me for me to, you know, how come I'm not... Uh, jumping on the gun on this and you know bouncing on this saying that uh, this is actually real and all that well let me show you guys a little something so you guys could understand this right here you guys already know where it came from i'm not going to tell you guys what channel and everything but this right here is not a craft and it's not a concealment yet i'm going to do something right now just to show you guys i'm gonna this is a comment it's a comment I've been watching this comment since 2015. It was a little speck, a little speck, and then it became a, like almost like a like you could say like a basil uh, seed. Then it became bigger to from 2016. It was a basil seed. 2017 became bigger. 2018 it became to the point where it's almost like a pen, like a you like a a period from a pencil or like what you consider a sharpie. You know, when you get a sharpie and you put a, a period and it makes a big mark. And now 2019 it became a little bigger. This is 2020 now. It came bigger. I'll mix. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. The guy got this backwards. Okay. The north is this way, south is this way. Sul is in Spanish, means, you know, Sul means that, Norte means North in English, and Sul means Spanish. Actually, it's S U R, not S U L. That guy just got it wrong. This is a comment right here of the, of the, of the interest, what I was telling you guys about. Let me blow this up. See that right there? See that right there, right? That's exactly what we're watching right here. What we're seeing right here. That is that right there. What we're seeing right there. It's not a consumer jet. You see the head, you see the tail. That's a comet. This is a comet. I've been trying to tell everybody this for a long time. This is a comet and this is a comet. We're catching it here now. We're actually having people catch it now. So this is a naked eye right here that a guy is actually seeing it now. And I'm glad I'm actually having opening up people's eyes. So the person thought that it was actually a consumer jet because they wanted to catch it themselves to debunk me. But the person said, it's not a consumer jet, Alex. He goes, you're right. It's a comet. It's a comet. You're right. And sure enough, look, he sent me the photograph. Just to show you guys right now. A lot of people don't know what they're talking about. You know, they're, they're, they're mistaken on what they're talking about. They're mistaken. You know, so I'm not making fun of channels. I'm helping you guys out. Maybe you guys can help this channel out. Let them know they're mistaken on what they're showing you guys. I'm just trying to help you guys out. This is the reason why I try to tell you guys I do not want to talk about this anymore. Now, let's get on to uh, California. You got an object right here in California. It's not our sun and moon. It's an object. We're not supposed to see stars during the day, but we're seeing objects right here. It's in California. We're going in Atlanta now. 
Look at Atlanta caught that object right here. Look at that object. See? Object right there. See that object right here? Object right there. Right there. There. And there. See that? There's your object right here. 2015. This was yesterday. Then you got objects right here. Like debris coming back now. See all that? All that rocks, all that stuff up there. Like the breeze coming back now. And we got his object right here that we did in Verde. See as a hole. See that, see that object? It's back there. You're going to see it right now. Watch. Ooh. And you got your object right here. And you have the object. There's your object. There's your objects to see. Like I said, a lot of people are starting to catch this stuff now. You got it again right here. See it? searches for the plane's recording devices and you got debris I was stepping over some of the victims to get to the aft cargo compartment that's your objects right here there's your object right there object there 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 I see that one that one that one that one, those two, and that. You got that one right there. So I don't know how much more proof you guys really need. How much more you guys need. You guys got channels telling you guys the objects right here, right in us and everything. But I hate to beg to differ because we haven't seen no meteorites. Actually, meteor, meteors, little meteorites, meteorites, whatever you want to call them, fall on us. Like the way they described in the ancient time in the Bible. We haven't seen no hail, no hail blood, hail mingle with blood fall on us. We haven't seen that, guys. And here's your object right there. Little wing object. See right there. That's the reason why I tell everybody, you know, somebody, a lot of people tell me, is it here, Alex? And I'm like, well, it's close by, but it's not here like everyone's telling you. So you got your object right there. Object there. There. And you got your object right here. Yeah, right here. You can make it out right here, barely. But there's like a debris cloud in back of here. Who's asking someone if they could bring it out? And you got your object right here. See it? So you got two objects right here. You got that one. And this one. And we're back right here, guys. This is the beginning. Yeah, we're back right here. It's good stuff that's happening out there. She got Maria's captures. Maria caught like some type of UFO object right here. I see it right there. I'm trying to remember exactly where she caught this object at. <clears throat> she caught something out here in the side. Oh, it's right here. This object. That right there. Then you got these objects. One. Two. Three. That's her object she caught. It does make you wonder so it looks like the later you start the descent, the faster you're gonna have to descend to get down. And one, two, descend, the three, four, five. One of the real tragic aspects about this accident was that's that her object right there. New safety technology was coming online, the ground proximity warning system. It's just a shame See, her little UFO. Yet installed on this particular airplane. The ground proximity warning system uses an onboard computer that senses when the plane is too low. And That's what this object is. 
That technology was required by the FAA. <coughs> that's what it looks like. It looks like Nebra. So I told her. So that's Nebra. That's the stars. I mean, if you guys were to go take a look at that, um, tickets, uh, Starry Night Pro app. It has an Eberu as a comet and everything, and this is how it looks. Investigators know the Northwest Airlink pilots could not have heard a low altitude. And that's it right here. And we're back right here from her. She didn't, she didn't have that much, but she caught pretty much. They wonder if weather conditions may have played a role. Now we're going to Colorado. This little object right here in Colorado. You're going to see this right here. That's that object right there in Colorado. What they caught. See that? They check the temperatures and the type of precipitation encountered by the turboprop. That's what they caught right there. That was in Colorado. These are prime conditions for icing. Now, you guys ready for some good stuff? You know what? Let me show you guys that one last to show you guys Sal's. That's what Sal caught. You see your object right here? The object's right here. This is over here in uh, Fresno. See right there? And there's another object right there. It's out here in Fresno, California. Delisi reviews the accident history of the jet stream There's your object right here. And makes a disturbing find about the aircraft's winter weather performance. The jet stream had been involved in some previous accidents. It's right in there. The buildup of ice contributed to a loss of control. The Can't even make out that object that's right there. You have that right there. There's your object. But here's your object right here. Fresno, guys. Fresno, California. Fre California is starting to see some things now. You really want to. Yeah, this one, no. And this one right here. You guys want to see this one right here? Something's rising in the. In the. Like, you can say the southeast, southeast, south, somewhere around there. Check this out. There's an object right here rising. Here's our sun. Here's our lens flare. Here's your object. It's rising. You see it? And we got this object right here rising too. And it's like a comet, like I showed you guys, like a comet. Like you see the body right here. See the see the body right here. The the body, the tail. You know, like, like the debris tail. Like I said, the ancients said they saw a fiery like cloud. And you see that right there? See that moon? That's the moon. You see the craters? See the craters on that? See that? See how it lights up? The craters? Snow lens flare. And you got that one right here too. See that? And then we're back again with this one right here. Another one. You see that object that's rising right here? It's not our moon or sun because you have our sun over here. Or and here's your lens flare over here. So it can be a lens flare. You get an object way out here. See that? And we're back right here. See that? Two different things. See how it's rising right there? See how it changes too? Two different days too. See that? It's crazy, huh, guys? I already showed you guys this one. I can't show you guys that one. And now we're going to... This was going to be the last photograph via photo. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. Let me do something real quick. I'm going to put these in there so these won't get... How much more proof do you guys need that we have a... We, we have an object. Here's your object right here. Under there. Here's another object here under the sun. It's taken today. I'm going to show you guys the object. So here's your object on top of the sun. And here's that object on top of the sun. Here's your other object on top of the sun. There's your object. Object. How much more proof do you guys need? Here's your object here in the bottom. Your object again. See it right there? There's no lens flare either. How much, how much proof do you guys need? There's your guys' object right there and object right there. Object right there. Right there. There's your object right there. What more do you guys need? What more proof do you guys want? There's your object. It's no lens flare either. How much how much how much more proof do you guys need? Come on now. See that right there? There's your objects. No lens flare either. There's two other objects right there. 
And then you got that object right there. And then here's your object again. Your object up there. Another one. And you got one. Two. Two objects right there. See that right there? Let's look at the pivot on this one. So we did a thorough and what more do you guys need? How much more proof? See the object right there? It's not a flare. How much more proof do you guys need? There was no evidence of any malfunction. Both altimeters seem to be working just fine. Let's see what the rest of the wreckage tells us. While you look closely at the engines, you want to recover the engines. I'm going back and forth like this, so we're erasing the whole the whole folder. Sometimes you're able to restart. Just trying to show you guys how much more proof do you guys need. You can see if there's any malfunctions that are obvious. Definitely spinning when they hit the ground. I don't know, guys, but at least try to have some type of plan to be prepared. Like I said, I'm not one of them types that's trying to show, uh, try to throw fear mongering or throw fear mongering or fear porn stuff. I don't do that. All I'm trying to do is get you guys prepared. Prepared for what? I don't know. But uh, I don't know how we. Some people say we can't survive this. Some people say we can. So it's up to you, depending on what you, how you want to survive this. If you want to survive this after six months going through all kinds of. Uh, it's up to you. If you want to preserve your life, you can. But if you feel like you're ready to go with our Lord and be with our Lord, then uh, I advise you right now is to go uh, go seek Jesus. Because that's the only way you get to the God. Because you get through Jesus is through God. So, I, I advise you guys go seek Jesus. Go ask him to come into your heart and get to know him and follow his his ways. That's the only way we'll be able to get to where we're going to get to. And for those of you who want to survive and want to sit here, I just pray for you guys that you, you guys make it. That you guys ain't the ones that are gonna be the ones that they consider. Um, you know, the ones that they're gonna hold behind and do all kinds of crazy things to what they say in scripture. It's just when you read that book, Revelation is kind of scary, but it's reality. What's really happening now? To then, guys, take care. God bless you guys. I love you guys.